I'm Simon Rinaldi from Red Hot Fishing Charters. We work out of Portland in Western Victoria chasing the southern bluefin tuna, the snapper in Melbourne and the um, marlin up in Port Stephens in New South Wales. Most, most years we're on the water around 280 odd days so we're sort of, uh, we don't get much time off so we're quite busy. So it's a white pointer boat built by Eric Island up in uh, Bansar. It's an awesome boat, eight and a half metres. Yeah, it's got like a wheelhouse set up there so it's nice and dry when we're down at Portland. It's nice and cold down there so it keeps us a bit warmer and it's awesome through the water. Just really, really good as you know what glass boats are like, it's so good. So each year we do a lot of um, kilometres in between um, Melbourne and Portland which is in the west of the state, about 400 kilometres to the west. So we're up and down between Portland and Melbourne quite regularly and then Bermagui in southern New South Wales, we're up and down from there and also um, further up it's uh, Port Stephens where we work out of there so we're obviously up and down the Hume Highway from Melbourne to uh, Port Stephens as well so we're always on the road doing a lot of miles. Behind me we've got the um, AT45 which is rated to four and a half tonne trans style trailer. This one here we've probably done close to 80,000 kilometres on the road on this trailer and there hasn't been a single fault, everything's perfect. I put it in each year for Transile to service it. They, they get it in and out of the factory in a day. It's all serviced for me. In between charters, they get it serviced and back for me to uh, put the boat on that afternoon, so it's awesome. So the boat and, um, and trailer all combined is around 4.2 tonne. Um, the boat itself is just, yeah, it's super heavy for its size. It uh, makes it really good in the water. It's really good, but it's important to have it on a good tow, a trailer to tow. Um, you know, it's rated to four and a half tonne, the trailer and it does it easy, toes down the road beautiful behind the big truck, it's not a drama, you never know the boat's even there, you have to actually slow down because uh, you look at the speedo and you're going to be quick sometimes, so yeah. So with the trailer we've got the torsion axle set up on it and it's so good, like, yeah, it just works really, really well, we've never had any dramas with it, it's better than having the old spring systems that rust out, leaf springs on old trailers, but yeah, it's really good, happy as. I chose Transdial because um, when I looked around on the market there wasn't sort of a great deal that caught my eye, um, the Transile trails are really, really good. They come to the party and looked after me, and the after um, sale service is, is fantastic. You know, if I need something fixed or, or I need the bearings redone before a trip to Port Stephens or something, yep, straight into Transile and they fix it instantaneous for me. Just to keep the weight down, the aluminium trailers are great. If I went for a galvanised trailer, I'd probably be up for another 300 kilos on top of this one, then the weight just gets out of control. You need a bigger tow vehicle and it just makes it hard towing down the road everywhere. So the um, aluminium trailers are really, really good. So we've had two of the trans-style trailers. Um, we had uh, a three and a half ton trailer for our um, seven and a half metre boat, which was really, really good. So when we had the new boat built, it was a no-brainer. I went straight back and saw trans-style and yeah, we sorted out a new trailer. And um, as we speak, we've got a new boat being built and new trailer coming again so yeah couldn't recommend them highly enough. Yeah I launch and retrieve by myself um, we don't have a boat catch on the boat but I just leave the boat in gear and unhook the boat and um, jump up into the boat and just drive it straight off it's very easy to load and unload um, single-handedly not a drama at all very easy. So on this particular trailer we have behind me we've got the, um, the keel rollers which work really well and some long um, skid bunks on the side so when you come up to it you can hit the um, the keel rollers on there and they guide the boat up nice and easy and as they roll the boat just comes up nice and slow it's not a drama never an issue going off to the sides or anything like that yeah so for the next rig we've um, we've got bigger horsepower on the boat and the boat will be a little bit heavier so we've chosen to go for the triaxle trailer it's rated the four and a half ton and the boat should come in at around sort of 2300 kilos so it'll be perfect sitting up there on the nice new trailer so it should be really good look forward to it i can't wait I've towed boats you know, for the last 25 years and yeah, I haven't had a trailer half as good as the way these tow, they're really, really good.